So uh, one of the questions that we get pretty often here at Phil Hour is, how do I adjust the dynamic walk AFO? And that's if people know that you can actually adjust it. The nice thing is dynamic walk AFOs are made of material we call TFC, which is our thermoformable composite. So I can actually remold this thing slightly if I really need to. So if I need to flare it for a patient, I can do that. So I'm gonna show you what to do and what not to do when you go to uh, adjust these things. So let's go ahead and start working on this one. So one of the things with Dynamic Walk is that it's made of this really nice uh, thermoformal composite. And I can come in here and I can modify these edges really simply. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna show you how I would modify right here at the tip. Now this stuff is gonna heat up uh, very similar to something like a polyethylene. It's not gonna melt in the back window of your car, but it's not a whole lot more than that. Uh, if you really had to, you could even uh, boil some water and, uh, and start to make this movable. So in order to heat this up, I'm not gonna overdo it with a heat gun. So it's not gonna get so hot that my hand's gonna be in trouble unless I overheat it. So I'm gonna probably stay in right in there with it as I heat it up. I'm just looking for it to kind of gloss up. That surface will start to get a little bit glossy for me and I'll know it's ready to move. And oh, there we go. I'm starting to be able to put a little bit of a flare on this. Let's say that patient's having a little bit of trouble and I just want to move that out. I can bring it back in, get a little heat on that side. Now I know that I can go ahead. You can see I put a little flare in there. Be pretty careful not to press on it and cause the fiber dish to break apart. So I'm gonna to try to keep it squeezed back together as we're working on here. And we're gonna get this real nice clean finish. If I was to get any fibers break free on me, I can come back and just wet sand that edge and it cleans it up really nicely. So this is how you do modify TFC. There are some ways to not modify TFC. So let's do a couple of those because I want you to see what happens when you do what people do to them pretty frequently. So one of the things we can do is cause the rod to release. So let's just go ahead and heat up right here. If for some reason I wanted to remove a rod, this is a great way to do it. Tell you what, we'll even overheat this. To get an idea of what it looks like when you go too far. Mmm, I can smell it too. That's how we know we're ready. <laughs> so if we ever do that, Wow, that glue is actually still pretty good. We'll give it a little more heat. <laughs> oh, it's starting to flare on me. We can see, oh, see, that's what the delamination looks like. That's what you don't want to happen right there. That means I went too far. The nice thing with this material is I can squeeze that back together. Let me make that. It's starting to get hot, though. But if I've overheated it, well, that rod's going to come right on out. So don't overheat it right there, because that'll give you a problem. Where that's often done is gonna be down here towards the bottom end of the brace. This is a great place to modify to make sure it gets around the patient's ankle. But if you're gonna do it down here, make sure that you heat it in this area. And just until it glosses. And then you can make a slight movement out and that will give your patient room for their ankle. So the only other thing you really don't want to do is put a big dimple in the foot plate. This is a pretty common one. We'll have them come back for this. Somebody will decide they need a relief on the bottom of a foot. So they'll heat there and they'll heat there. And one thing that carbon composites, and it doesn't matter what you choose, don't do well, is this kind of modification. So you'll see I put a nice big divot in there. Basically, I just created a failure spot for this brace. If I don't want brace there, I'm gonna to have to trim it off because what'll happen as soon as this cools off is I could grab this and snap it because I've created a 3D shape within my carbon fiber. And those are things we do not want in high stress areas like right at the metatarsals where that would be. Those are kind of the worst things that are typically done with the dynamic walk AFO and how we typically have failures. So hopefully that'll give you an idea of how to modify it and do it correctly so that you don't send it back to us, well, like that.